loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley, and today we're going to be playing in some color. I received this wig from Eva Wig, and we're going to go ahead and install her from start to finish. So when you first receive your wig, of course this is the box as always. Inside you have your package, and this is the wig, as I mentioned, it is color, so I'm kind of excited about that. Also in the package, they did provide some goodies. You have some bobby pins as well as your wig caps. Also in the back hiding is a shower comb with their logo and bowls. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the packaging and I think she's going to look so good on. This is what the inside construction of the cap looks like. As you guys can see she said as a side part but you have plenty of space in there. I believe this is a 13 by 6 wig so you'll be able to do a center part, um, keep the side part, flip it to the opposite side. You also have a little bit of lace in the back so I'm going to go ahead and cut off this excess lace, adjust the straps and we're going to go ahead and put her on. Okay, so off the bat, she's definitely a vibe. I love how full she looks with the curls. Of course, I gotta go ahead and brush it out and style it, but I actually love the way it is as a side part. So we're gonna work with her um, with the style she has. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of extra curls, but first of all, I spent a little extra time on my brows today. I've been trying a new technique where I do my brows first and I do the concealer brows. Then I do my eyeshadow, kind of like the stylist. Do it when you get your makeup done. And I'm not quite sure if I'm good at it yet. I'm trying to contour my nose a little bit more. Basically, I'm just trying to get better with my makeup. I've been doing my makeup the same way for so many years. I'm trying to switch it up. So I'm not about to mess it up with this lace. Next step for me is going to be go to go ahead and make the lace fit from ear to ear. As I mentioned, this is a 13 by 6 lace wig, which means it's 13 from this end to this end. I think my ear to ear ratio is like 11 or 12. So usually I'll have to cut off maybe an inch or so on each side. Sometimes less, it just depends on the wig. And see, I kind of cut around the ear so it fits perfectly, but I still have a little bit of lace here to make baby hair. That's going to be super cute. Okay, so looking at the lace, they did kind of sort of pre-pluck it. I would definitely recommend that you go in and pluck it a little bit more. But as you guys... <laughs> but as you guys see behind the parting, it does give a little bit of pre-parting vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and install her first. And if I want to go in and pluck a little bit out, maybe I should pluck a little bit.
Okay, so the wig is installed and I am happy with the installed. I feel like my face always feels a little bit more snatched when my wig is installed. But before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and add a heat protectant. This one too is a OG. You guys know I usually will use the Tresemme out of habit. But I do have a few different ones. And that one is also an OG. So I like the smell of this one as well. Work it through there. So now we're going to go ahead and style the wig. I'm going to decide, do I want baby hair or not? Okay, so I know I definitely want the sideburn. So I want to keep the center. No baby hair. I'm just going to work it on the sides. Okay, so you want to make sure your lace looks as melted as possible, which is why I went in and touched up the hairline. I still feel like it's flipped up right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay it. I'm going to go ahead and set that and just the entire hairline with my elastic band.
Okay, so this is the final look. I went ahead and added some powder to the hairline to kind of blend it with my complexion and a little concealer in the parting. Sometimes I'll switch it up and do the powder in the parting too. I used to only do it that way, but I don't know, lately I've been liking the concealer there instead. I did add the skinny serum to each section as I did the hair. And before I even started, I did add a heat protectant but I did not add a holding spray. Usually I would use like my shapers or something like that, but I kind of just wanted to um, let the curls drop and do what they do. I kind of don't even want to pull them apart. curls defined usually I want to go for like a messy look and pull them out which I was about to do but I kind of want to keep them you know defined that way they'll last a little bit longer but I do love this color and how amazing it looks against my complexion always going for the deeper tones um you know is key especially when you have um a darker root it always it looks good you can kind of put it behind the ear but that's not necessary i'm actually proud of these curls i'll tell you this a wand curler always is the way to go especially if you are a beginner or a newbie when it comes to curls just because i feel like it always works out for me even if the curls don't come out exactly how i want them to like it still always you know looks good whereas with the curling iron i kind of feel sometimes like i'll do all these curls and then when i'm done like they'll just drop <laughs> And it's like you did all that work and the curls didn't even last. But you guys see, I didn't add any hairspray and the hair held a curl amazingly. I don't even know if I was planning on doing curls with this wig, but I'm happy that I did. And an easy way to preserve this style is to go ahead and use flexi rods. The bigger ones, um, I think it's the purple ones that I typically will use. And I'll just put like maybe four to six, maybe no, yeah, maybe four to six, six to eight into the wig just depending on how thick your wig is and that way when you wake up in the morning they're not completely dropped thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends also don't forget to check the description box for a link to this wig as well as some other videos that i've done with evil wigs and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches